Hey, how you doing? Good morning. Welcome to another time here in the upper room. Thanks for coming along to share this time with me in, in praying. And we're pretty much uh, lead us out into the place of prayer. Uh, we've been doing a study through the book of Daniel that has brought us to Hebrews 11, and we're running through the whole chapter. We're going to be done with that this week. So when we come up a week, uh, we'll continue with uh, verse 14 of Daniel chapter 1. Yesterday, we were able to get as far as uh, verse 37. So we're going to go on to verse 38 today. You know, we're just talking about in 37. You know, the Bible talks about people that were stoned, that were sawn in two, were slain with a sword. You know, they wanted in sheep clothing, goats came, they were destitute and afflicted, all for the sake of what they believed, right? They were not doing all of these because they were wrong or because they had no choice, but because of what they believed. They did it for the belief, what they believed. And in they were not going to compromise that. And that's important as we we're emphasizing yesterday was first of all, when we, do, when we go through this, let's be careful that we're not doing it because we're seen as, that we're doing something that is wrong. And when we go through this, let's be sure that we're going through it because uh, we're working in that which we believe in and we're not seen as all of all criminals but that we're doing it because of our faith, because that is what God is going to reward. That's what God is committed towards, right? The Bible says that they that believe would not be ashamed, right? Is they that believe, meaning that is they that walk according to what they believe, those are the people that not be ashamed. If you're not walking according to what you believe, you will be ashamed because God will not defend you, right? They went through all of this because of what they believe, their faith, Give them the strength, the power, the fortitude to go through the pain, the struggle, to pay the price for what they believed. And verse 38 goes on and says, Of whom the word was not worthy of that. Right? The word is not worthy of those that have a vision, that have a purpose, that have an intent of being here, because that's where God wants us to live. That is the fulfillment of. of of, of, of our being here is to fulfill purpose, right? It's, it's a rite of passage of being here. And we have people that fulfilled it. People like Enoch, right, is our big example. He, he so walked with God that he was not. God took him away, right? And, and yeah, that's an example, right? Walking with God. But the real thing is God put us here to make a difference. Our purpose is God's glory. Our purpose is to become little gods, to show forth that dimension of God that he has put in our life. None of God is able to show forth all the dimension of God on our own. But each of us has a dimension of God that God wants us to live, to show, to use it, to make a difference in this life. It's up to us that we live to the fullness of what we have been created to live. Right, and again, it's not about doing what every other person is doing, it's about finding where's my own place, where's my own place, and being in my own place because my place is different from your place, your place is different from my place. The important thing is for me to find out where is the placing of God in my life, what is it that God has called me to take care of, and ensure that I'm taking care of that place in my life because that is what God is going to judge. That's what God is going to hold me responsible for, right? <clears throat> the Bible says, of whom the world was not worthy of that because they lived the, to the fullness of their creation. They wandered in deserts and mountains, right? In dens and caves of the earth, right? What that for them what was their purpose, their intent, their fate. Just an example. Verse 39 goes on and says, and all this, having obtained a good testimony to faith. They obtained a good testimony to faith. This is just a repeat of, uh, I believe that was verse three. It talks about that the elders obtained a good report, a good testimony by faith. The only way we are going to receive a good testimony also is by faith. 